Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually in commute driving through Colorado and I'm going to share with you one of the things that you have been asking me to do. Telling you how I get mail while I'm traveling. Now part of working from the road means that I need to be able to pick up things in different places and so in order to do that there are several different methods for my madness. However I have found that this particular method is the one that I use most often. Okay, so we just picked up from an Amazon locker at a Whole Foods and we have another package. I just kind of pick a place nearby where I'm gonna be like I kind of did today and uh, sure enough, here we go. Now the last place that I actually had a package sent, you had to check in with a person and they ran the barcode that you get through your email and check your ID. But here they literally just send you a little scan and they keep it for about four days at one of the regular lockers. So, so see guys, that's super convenient. And most of the places that these lockers are located are like stores like Whole Foods or a convenience store, places that you need to go anyway. So you can either get some supplies or fuel up, things like that. And you can kind of pick what's closest to you. Now, that means you kind of have to know what area you're gonna be in, otherwise you're gonna be driving quite a ways or they will send it back to Amazon if you haven't picked it up within a certain amount of days. But all in all, not too shabby. Okay, so this is how it works if I'm ordering off of Amazon. If, for example, I wanted to find some of the leggings that I really like, because I totally love those. Um, online, I think they're listed as the TikTok leggings. Okay, so there they are. And let's see. So we just go down and we find the leggings that we like. And I like this color. I haven't gotten this color yet. So what we would do is we would add it to our cart. And I'm just using this as an example. So what I would do then is I would actually go to ship to an Amazon pickup location and I would enter in a zip code near me. So for example, I am near Denver at this moment. So that is 80014. And then I would find a pickup location. And what that does is then it's going to show me all of the different hub lockers that are available. And this is really cool because then you can actually see them on the map and figure out which one would be closest to you. So if, for example, I was over here by the Holly Hills area, there's two different locations that I could click on. And if I were to click on those, it would tell me which one that they are, where they're located, and things like that. So I could click on that and then actually go to this locker and then find number 17, which is gonna be down here a little bit. But look at all of these different locker locations. And then all you do is just click ship to this address and then after that, then you can figure out the rest of your delivery. Now that's basically the way that Amazon works. Super, super simple. So I can receive packages literally anywhere. This isn't the first package I have actually received while on this particular trip. I actually ordered something else whenever I was going to be going into Colorado Springs. And I picked up that package as well. And it was a slightly different situation. So let me show you that one. Now, Amazon drop boxes are pretty cool because you can find them across the country in a variety of different places. So if you can kind of figure out where you're going to be along your adventure route, whenever you're ordering things, this is a great solution for receiving mail on the road. For example, I started out over in Telluride, Colorado, and whenever I did, I determined I needed a few things for the van. Now, I knew I wasn't gonna be in Telluride for more than a few days. So I kind of picked where I was going to be next, which happens to be the Colorado Springs area. And then I was able to go onto Amazon, find the products that I need, and then ship them to the Colorado Springs area to a drop box. Now the first step is just to find the drop box that you had it dropped to. So in a place like Colorado Springs, there are numerous drop boxes all over town so that people can have packages sent to those versus like their home. Or if you're like me, while I'm on the road, I can have it sent there. So I'm about 21 minutes away and only 11 miles from where I'm supposed to pick this up. Now, even though it arrived today, I would have until the end of the month, which is like two weeks away to pick it up. But I'm eager to find my package and make sure that I have it in my possession. So off we go. Okay, now that we've made it here, all we do is it says we have two items ready to be picked up and it tells us the location, which the address was right here. And now all I have to do is go in and scan my code. 
Okay guys, there it is. That's all I had to do was actually just go inside. They scan the code and then they ask you to confirm your identity with your ID. And so I was able to pick up my mail today here at the come and go. So that is one way that I am able to pick up packages and mail whenever I'm traveling. Another way that you can do that is actually to consult with the local post office and have general delivery. Now, not all post offices will allow general delivery for a nomad. So definitely try to call in advance to make sure you can have something general delivered to there. But typically a post office will hold a package for you for three or four days maximum. So as you can see, Amazon is super, super simple to work with. Now, Another thing that I do like is I do sometimes like to pick up things from Walmart. Yes, Walmart. And Walmart has their own unique system where you can actually order something and ship it to a store specific to where you're going to be as well. And that's a pretty nice way to do it also. And there's tons of different things that you can find and Walmarts are pretty much everywhere.